He's the part of the game that scares me the most. Why should we risk so much for Indonesia? It's not for Indonesia, it's against America. He thinks he was personally betrayed. He hasn't been back in Jakarta since the war began, if they're admitting this is a war yet. They're still calling it an incident. There's a thousand bomb minimum on wars. Huh, if South comes back, I'm sunk. I know he's got resources inside the agency. He wouldn't have to go out of his way to find out at that field agent training. Do you know where Soth is now? If I did, he'd be about six feet lower. Follow me, but keep your distance. I'll wait for you when I get to the retina scan. We just intercepted a call from Soth. He blew Miss Carlson's cover. If Sedona knows she's CIA, any one of these guerrillas might gun her down. Don't let that happen. Good evening. I don't think we've met yet. I've seen you with Sedano before. My name's Kim. Nice to meet you. I'm Ingrid. Yeah, I know. Mind if I go inside? I need to give a few papers to Sawadi. Um, I'm not authorized for this retinal scanner. That's no problem. I am. Oh, well then I guess... Just a second. Yeah? Okay, I'm listening. Sure, sure, right now. No, I'm looking at it. Are you sure? What? What should I do? Yes, sir. I understand, sir. It's my guardian angel. Thanks. Are you all right? Still breathing. Here, I'll open the door. Once I have Sedona, where do I meet you? The roof. Not the most subtle option in the world, but we're not using a military chopper. So hopefully we'll have the chance to slip by. Follow me, but keep your distance. I'll wait for you when I get to the retina scanner.
It's my guardian angel. Thanks. Are you all right? Still breathing. Here, I'll open the door. Once I have Sedona, where do I meet you? The roof. Not the most subtle option in the world, but we're not using a military chopper. So hopefully we'll have the chance to slip by. chatter about escape routes. The studio's likely to be your last chance to grab Sudono. If he gets out, he'll either vanish or be killed. Neither of which we can afford. Sound, speed, and we're rolling. Tape for distribution May 1st, 2006, take four. Citizens of the world, I am alive and well, and closer than you think. 
It has been 10 days since the date claimed to be that of my death by the US government. It has been a week since the regrettably necessary release of the smallpox virus on US land. I hope that by suffering, the people of America understand a little bit of the suffering that the rest of the world must endure for the sake of American excess. The Americans will never capture me. They will never kill me. They will never find Sahadi Sadano, and they will never be safe. America will be held in... We only just met. Kill me. I'm not afraid. No such luck. Where's the last smallpox sample? Who says there's only one more? You do if I squeeze hard enough. Where and how many? Next door. Hundreds. Where's the smallpox? Everywhere. Do you have children? Where's the smallpox? Ha! How many children? Where are they now? The questioning only gets worse once I'm gone. I'm not afraid of pain. You can learn. You can learn from pain. Maybe once America has suffered, she will start to learn. I know it's too late for you, but maybe your children... You don't learn so quickly. I'm ready. Kill me. You can kill me, but you'll never get rid of me. Keep burning me. It's just flesh. Great work, Fisher. You're well on track to becoming history's most prolific unknown author of world events. If I had any blood left, I'm sure I'd be blushing. Is Ingrid in position on the roof? That's right. And the helicopter, too. Keep Sedono conscious until you've made visual contact with Carlson. Can I get a confirmation, Fisher? Sedano's alive and you've got him? Yes. Fantastic. Don't worry about leaving a mess behind you on your way out. We're arranging to sweep up after you're gone. We're not in the clear yet. Get Sedono to the roof. Ingrid's waiting. Here. I would have gift wrapped him, but I couldn't find any duct tape. It always shocks me how young he looks. Like a little kid compared to his face on television. You honestly liked him? No. Respect, maybe. But I know he's a monster. He has a child's idea of war. Can't tell the difference between a citizen and a soldier. He thinks the whole world is a morally viable target. There's only one nation on the planet fighting the whole world. Huh. Whose side are you on? You know I can't say that. Yeah, I know. I don't know who you are or how you do what you do, but thank you. I hope we can work together again. <laughs> 